Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Yes, it's me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see a girl. I appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face, my bad. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now let's get on into it. No dilly dallying. Me down. If you guys know me, it's been um, about three days since I've given you a video. My apologies. However, um, I have experienced a loss in my family. So, you know, it's been a bit of a struggle. I ain't gonna lie. Life has been lifing these past three days. Three, four days. Um, nevertheless, <clears throat> let me get y'all the scripture. That is the verse of the day. It is John 15. It is verse 4 and 5. <clears throat> this is Jesus talking, right? He says, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Now, I hope y'all heard that, okay? <clears throat> now, the word abide. Now. That's actually a, a word that I had saved in my phone, the definition, because God was bringing that word up to me like some time back, right? And if I can remember <clears throat> off the top of my head, abide is to um, live in, to dwell in, to make it your home. And Jesus says, I'm the vine, you're the branches. So I'm the source, right? The branches can only live through the vine. They can't live outside of it, right? It needs something, it needs to be connected to its life source. Mm. And God says, without me, without me being that source of life for you, you cannot live. You cannot survive. Apart from me, you can do nothing. You can do things, but it's not going to mean anything. In these last few days, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I've been feeling like I've been apart from the vine. I ain't even going to lie. I know I'm not the only one. Even somebody watching this, you may not have experienced a loss in your family of someone you love right now, but maybe you experienced a loss in another way, right? An unexpected loss. It was just like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> right now, are you serious, right? But God's like, the answer is not to separate from me. It's actually to draw near to me. There's a verse in the Bible that says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you, right? Just come, just inch. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I haven't even felt like I can inch toward God, but God's like, look, I know this is a thing I need. My source of life is him. And when life gets a life thing and you feel like, what am I doing? Now, did it happen? Did, it happen? did this happen? Like, what's up, life? <laughs> Remember I told you in another video, life is not going to stop because fill in the blank. Because you're doing great for yourself. Because you're trying harder. Life is not going to stop because you have losses in the family. Life is not going to stop because of trials. The Bible said, Jesus said it. In this world, you will have troubles. You will have trials, but fear not, for I have <clears throat> overcome the world. Life is going to be doing what it's going to do, right? But take heart, be encouraged. It may be hard, difficult to be encouraged in a time when you feel like, <sighs> but it's possible. It is possible because there was an, I can, oh, come on, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Remember I said God will say things more than once in the Bible so that, to help you remember? It's not for him just to speak it more than once. It's for us to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it so we can remember. And this right now, this time of loss in my life makes me remember. At another time, I had loss in my life where I had never experienced such grief in my life before. And what I learned in that situation was at my darkest time, when I felt like I had nothing and no one, it was God to pull me out of the pit because I felt like what is life right now, right? And this moment right now I'm experiencing, I can remember the time where I felt lower than this. And yet and still, God pulled me out and he pulled me into the light. So this is just a little message of encouragement for anybody who feels like, what is going on right now? I can't get out of this pit. God will get in the pit with you when you feel like you can't come out. That's it. See, if nobody has told you today, I love you. I love you and I love me and God loves us together. Listen, life be lifing, but guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. 